how do you ensure to cheer up the people how do you ensure to energize the people around you whomever you converse with how do you do that so the thing is you must have experienced this one right when you're going and talking to people when you're conversing with somebody and then when you part ways you feel so nourished you feel so happy your mood is like changed you feel like you're going to conquer the world you get all those kind of feelings but at the same time you also converse with different kind of people you talk like for 15 minutes and then when you walk out you feel so shitty right you feel so drained you need a moment all by yourself to actually gather yourself to collect yourself you know what i mean because everything is fallen apart just within the 15 20 minutes of having the conversation it was so intense and was so exhausting right i mean that means that only means that you have actually absorbed their energy so it is all about the energy right it's not really that you are flushing out all of your energy but it is you are absorbed that that their energy which is negative so when you really want to you know make a conversation with that particular person for the next time right your brain automatically goes into the thinking mode should i do this or should i avoid so this usually happens with pretty much everybody and that is how you feel approachable or you want to approach somebody uh, because of the energy that you have shared in the past okay so this also happens with the stranger because obviously for the first time when you're talking to the stranger you have no idea what kind of a person that is so uh humans have an innate capab- capability to actually you know judge a person's vibration and their energy within 17 milliseconds yes we are pretty smart in that way okay because it's all about the survival mechanism so how do you actually make a person feel good make a person instantaneously you know energetic and cheer them up how do you do that before i actually get into the actual topic i want i want to tell you what are the things that is actually causing people not to get into the zone okay so it is pretty hard for people to be mindful at all times i mean it is pretty much for everyone okay everyone cannot be mindful because there's so much things that is happening in life and we tend to get carried away so how are we going to do this right there is there are strategies so there are obstacles that's going to affect you and not put you into that mindful state and uh, one is the internal factor when i say internal factor it has got to do with your body you are in pain right when you have a headache when you have a knee pain when you have like you you can't stand for a long time you can't sit for a long time in a particular position right you have all of these scenarios right so basically what happens is if you are in uncomfortable situation that you are in pain and then you're not really able to you know uh, get to do whatever you want to what you want to do so this this takes your mind off from that actual situation and puts you somewhere else and the other person easily senses it they will be able to pick it up and then they will be able to say that okay you know what i think maybe i'm not important for you or the conversation is not really important for you could be discussing some very intense topic or you could be in an interview you could be in an important day it this this particular meeting could be a million dollar meeting right you never know so when the moment you give that feeling you the moment you give that energy to the other person the quality of the entire conversation is going to be a little you know challenging but you don't want it which is the internal factor now the external factor external factors got to do with your with your shoes with your clothes with with the temperature you know you're you're wearing a woolen jacket on a hot sunny day and the meeting is outside you know what i'm trying to say or um, i want to tell you a story when it comes to the external factor so last month i had been on a date right and uh and i picked up the restaurant which had a rooftop and uh the chick the girl she picked up the she she chose the seat which is on the corner so it was actually a rooftop but the good thing is like it had a roof but the only problem was there was the, the thing was exposed i mean no walls i mean pretty much it was exposed and she chose a corner table and i was not prepared for the corner table because i mean i was just wearing a shirt and she was wearing all the clothes in the world and the thing is i happened to go and sit there and the problem is it is just after the rain just after the rain so imagine right i mean the 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 breeze ever the breeze the cold the chilly and the and the and to make things worse there were there were trees around so it was a very nice ambience but the problem is that i was not designed for that and then i was just all sitting shivering like a like a, a chicken that fell in the water so the thing is um you need to be like if see this thing is like not really that important but it, but the meeting or the person that you're talking to the particular instance could be a life changing one so you don't want to put yourself into that particular position you don't want to be so uncomfortable in that particular position because your attention your uh, your uh, your thoughts is completely taken off from that moment and it's going to shift to your uncomfortable whatever is going on right 
So we are done with the external, we're done with the internal. Now we are coming into the mind factor. The mind factor is one of the biggest obstacle that you are actually, um, biggest obstacle that you would face and you won't be able to take your mind off immediately. This is like, you're literally thinking about something else that is bothering you, especially the pain, right? Or it could be anxiety. It could be like your dog tearing off your clothes. I mean, tearing off your things at home. Or uh, I don't know, like it could be anything, anything that is burning. That means you're again, not in the moment and you're somewhere else. You're out there somewhere else. And again, like I said, people will be able to pick it up instantaneously. So the moment people pick things up that you are not here, that means the first uh, that means the first thought that they get is I'm not important. This time is not important. The conversation is not important and you're not giving the absolute seriousness that you're supposed to give. You're not give, you're not really giving. So I don't I don't know like where is this going, right? I mean, they might not be able to say it, but they will feel it. Okay. So what you can do to get into this? The way the effective way to tackle the internal and the external is to plan properly. Okay? For example, if you had to pick up a if you had to go pick up a place for you to have your dinner or wherever the meeting is happening, right? Dress accordingly. Dress accordingly. Don't wear short skirts or the sleeveless vest on a cold Sunday evening. You're getting it on a cold Sunday evening. You are, you're going to be completely uncomfortable with the entire thing and the, the event could completely get messed up. You don't want to you don't want to do that. Okay. And you're, you're barely getting that mindfulness over there. And if you're in an interview, you're just sitting there, it's shit cold. All you got to just take, can, can we take a, take, you know, can we reduce the temperature? That's okay for you to tell it because you're, you're, you can, you can even say that I'm not really comfortable right here sitting in this AC and I'm shivering and I'm not able to put my mind on my answers. Instead, my mind is going up, going away in my shivering. So can we please have it reduced? So this actually gives you the, this actually gives you an upper edge because you're actually telling things out. So that's, that's the second, that's the, that's the way to do it. Okay. So plan well, converse properly and be in a comfortable position, your clothing and all these things matters. Okay. The clothing, the chair that you said, all of these matters for a mindfulness. Now coming to the mind factor, this is where you get all kind of, you know, jittery, you're feeling anxiety, you're feeling uncomfortable because uh, you're feeling uncomfortable, you're thinking about something else, all of these things are coming in, right? So it's pretty hard for you to actually get practice at mindfulness. So this is one of the tactics that I've been using and it's been pretty, pretty much working out for me, okay? So what you got to do is, before you go to the meeting, right? So the meeting is happening at 7.40 or 7.30 and then right now it is 7.20 and what you got to do is just take a minute all by yourself, okay? Take a minute all by yourself. All you've got to do is, I'm closing my eyes because it's a little bright. It's too sunny. Um, you got you to gotta close your eyes for a second. And then I want you to absorb the energy. I want you to absorb the noise that is happening. Okay? And everything that is existing in and around you, I want you to just absorb it. Do it for like 15, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Just do it. Okay? Just absorb it. And once you do that, once you do that, at 15 seconds is good enough. And then focus on your breathing, deep breathing and focus. When you do that, right? when you start putting your attention on your breathing, right? The entire noise kind of comes down. I mean, noise, not literally, but in your mind, the noise actually comes down. Whatever you surround with, it kind of comes down. And not because you're not really paying attention to that. You're paying attention to your breathing. So your senses will, will tend to be activated towards your attention. Okay. So focus on your breathing, deep breathing. In and out, in and out. Take inhale, exhale for about 15 seconds. So that, that comes up to the first one and the second one is 30 seconds. Once you do that, open your eyes. The, when you're opening your eyes, I want you to bring your attention all the way to your toes. When you do that, there is a sh sudden shift. There is a surge in your energy. And then you are just everything, the universe, everything. You feel that the whole entire universe, up, which has existed up to this particular moment, right? It is existing only for this moment. That's how you feel, all right? It just comes down to this one point and my focus is completely on my toes and that's it. That means there's a shift that's happening from here all the way, it just goes, it just scans through your body all the way to your toes and back again. Boom, you are ready to rock, all right? So rock and stay hard and of course kill it. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.